their friend. A while ago I made a video called Dr. Bates was wrong. And yeah, he was wrong <laughs> about something very important. And the video was not edited. I did not really make it for a broader audience, but a lot of people have been watching it. So I wanted to make a revised version on my new channel and explain it a little better than I did the last time just to make the entertainment rate a little bit higher so you do not have to spend 20 minutes looking at me thinking and going um, uh, uh, like that right so Dr. Bates was an ophthalmologist in the 20s of the previous century he wrote this book called Perfect Eyesight Without Glasses and it helped a lot of nearsighted people improve their vision. Now, in 1892, I think it was Heimold that proposed that the eye accommodates using the lens of the eye. There are ciliary muscles around the lens of your eye and if they contract your eye, uh, the lens of your eye bends, it curves, and so you can look near or far. In this way, the human eye has a reach of about 15 diopters when you're young and it gets a little bit less as you get older. Now, Dr. Bates said uh, that stress causes can cause, in some cases, your eye muscles to tense up, elongating the eye and causing myopia. Now this is something that I, have, I just know to be true for myself, I'm not an ophthalmologist, but it's my experience and I know a lot of people who have experienced it, you know, by giving a workshop, by helping other people uh, individually, I know this to be true. And it makes a lot of sense that uh, strain is the cause of myopia. However, he also said that all accommodation of the eye happens by tensing the muscles around the eye. So the eye has six muscles around it to look in different directions and muscles to keep your eyes in place when you turn your head. Now, I do believe these muscles are responsible for the myopia but not for the accommodation of the eye. Helmholtz was right about this, and this is not something I came up with. I mean, this is just what healthcare recognizes as um, truth insofar as we know. Dr. Bates discovered that fishes and amphibians do accommodate with muscles around their eyes. And yes, it would make sense that we could still use the eye in that way, but we're not evolved to use our eyes uh, in the same way as fish do. One thing that was really interesting, I found that he had found that most animals in the zoo are nearsighted. Yeah, they're in a stressful situation in a cage and they do not get the normal motion uh, that they, they would get normally. So just like humans, they become nearsighted. However, other animals like we also accommodate normally by using ciliary muscles of the eye. This can also be proven because you can numb the little ciliary muscles by using eye drops and if you do so then your eyesight becomes better because your lens is completely relaxed so your focus is on uh, far constantly the same happens when you have a rush of adrenaline if you get really scared for something even if you're not wearing glasses i assure you you're gonna see just perfectly fine because your lens is relaxed so much that it will compensate for your refraction error. It's a very interesting experience. I had it a couple of times <laughs> in situations that made me nervous and it's a different kind of 
improved eyesight than when you improve your eyesight by relaxing the muscles around your eye. Since it's just the same, the same kind of solution as with wearing lenses. It doesn't really change how your eye works at that time. It's just a temporary shock of the adrenaline that improves your sight. Hopefully this uh, answers your question. <laughs> and it's a better summary of Dr. Bates was wrong, but he was also right. Subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about vision improvement. Leave a like if you like this video. And... Put any comments you have below. I'll see you around. Thank you for watching. Bye.